What is up everyone? This is totally random back with another video. Um, I've been uh, just quickly talking about the Captain Marvel reviews. Uh, I've seen that they're out and you know guys, I as of so many other YouTubers have been saying and you know other people just in general articles, the reviews aren't that great. You know, the 84% of Rotten Tomatoes is very deceiving. Uh, you know, if you click on top critics, it says that it's at um I don't know if it's like a 6 out of 10. But it was at like a 63%. I'm pretty sure it's gone down by now. But um, the reviews are very deceiving. People are liking this movie just for the sake of like of trying to like it. Like it's they're trying to they're wanting to like the movie, but they know it's a bad movie. Uh, as I said before, I'm seeing this movie. I think tomorrow um, night, as of right now, uh, plans could change. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of funny. My brother's uh, whole soccer team is going to watch the movie, and I've already told my brother like y'all are probably gonna hate the movie. I mean. If these critics, you just read their reviews, they're trying to like the movie, but, I mean, they're giving it a, a, a positive review, but they know it's bad. Um, and I'm shocked, as I said before, I was expecting a 95% Rotten Tomatoes, you know, everyone to praise it. They were praising it before, but obviously something, I don't know, the movie must be really bad. I think this movie is going to be worse than Green Lantern, you know, uh, uh, worse than uh, Baby in the Last Airbender, I don't know, but... um. I can't wait to see this movie. I think it's going to be filled with SJW feminism stuff because literally you got Grace Randolph calling her a Mary Sue. And Gra and Grace Randolph, like her her review is very confusing in my opinion because she's like, she wants to like the movie because, you know, it's, it's you know, female empowerment, you know, MCU's first uh, female and, you know, she's, she's, she's having difficulty doing that. But, um... Uh, Jeremy Johns has a pretty great review. He didn't like, I don't know if he, I can't necessarily say if he liked the movie or not, but he essentially is saying like, he's just not sure because I, I think he, he doesn't like the movie, but he's unsure of whether, what to say. And uh, I think, I think, I think it's not, I don't think it's good. I don't think he really thinks it's that good. Um, uh, this, these, these reviews I'm telling you about are similar. If you watch The Last Jedi, you like watch Chris Stuckman's video well, about about the last Jedi. Blah, the last Jedi. You watch um, Collider's their video about the last Jedi. These guys are trying to like the movie, but they they they're just, they're just like yo, they just completely shitted on this whole franchise. You know, just watch Chris Stuckman's reaction after the last Jedi. He's just like, huh, I like. There's one thing I liked it. I liked it, and I'm just like, and his face is like, those. <sighs> He's like, his face is like, they just killed Luke Skywalker. That's his, that's what his face says. But he's, he's like, I liked it. And the Collider people are like, yeah, I liked it. And their face is just like, that movie was the worst Star Wars movie I've ever seen. But the reason why is because, you know, Disney's got them in their back pockets. Like, they're essentially trying to do it because of Disney. They're trying to be it the way because of Disney. I mean, these reviews are so fake. That one person came out and was saying like, oh, these female, um, all the negative reviews are men. And so many other YouTubers, so many people just like, yo, let me show you a list. I mean, Film Junkie, I saw, pulled up a list of all these women giving it negative reviews. I mean, on Rotten Tomatoes, I'm just like, put these people in their places. It's so stupid. They're And they're blaming white men. They're blaming the white men. White males, it's y'all's fault. Everything is white males' fault. I'm just, SJWs are crazy. They're ruining this. Um, Honestly, if they, if Brie Larson had kept her mouth shut, maybe this movie would have been less hated up on before even came out by you know the audience but um and they're saying this movie is going to make 300 million worldwide on its box office weekend with 150 million here uh 200 outside of the u.s hell no this movie is going to flop this movie is not going to do good it is going to underperform so massively there is no john campion didn't he say this is going to hit a billion that's a bunch of bullshit that's not going to happen no one's going to watch this movie okay not many people are going to watch it these pre-sales okay people are buying pre-sales that does not measure how many people are actually going to go to the movie theater and will buy a ticket there which is not going to be that many um by all means boycott this this crap as i said before i'm essentially watching this movie for free um, so I'm still gonna see this. I, I'm ready to laugh my head off at the stupidity that's in this movie because I've heard so many people say this and that how she just is overpowered. She just has, she's like aluminum. So basically she's like a plank of wood. Uh, I've heard so many bad things about Brie Larson and her acting, which I'm not surprised. Her In the trailer, she looks like complete garbage. She cannot act. So it's no surprise that this is happening. But um, Anyway, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts down below quickly. Just wanted to make a quick video talking about it. Um, yeah, I've been pretty busy so far these past couple of days, but um, I wanted to let it, give an update about it. But um, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below with whatever you want to say. If you agree with me or not, uh, give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join my channel. Uh, and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, guys.
Be amazing.